Have you ever wondered who was the mastermind behind the notorious Chicago outfit before Al Capone? Who was the man that laid the groundwork for modern organized crime in America? That man was none other than Johnny Torrio. Born in Iacina, Italy in 1882, Torrio was brought to New York City by his widowed mother when he was just two years old. In the teeming streets of Lower East Side, he quickly learned that survival meant bending a few rules. By his early teens, Torrio was running a group of street kids who sold newspapers and stole from local shops. This was his first taste of organized crime, and he took to it like a fish to water. In the early 1900s, Torrio met Big Jim Colosimo, a Chicago mob boss who would change the course of his life. Colosimo brought Torrio to Chicago, where he quickly rose through the ranks of the outfit. His intelligence and strategic mind set him apart, and before long he was second in command. In 1920, Colosimo was murdered, and Torrio took over the Chicago outfit. Under his leadership, the organization flourished. He expanded into bootlegging, gambling, and prostitution, creating an empire that stretched across the city. However, Torrio's reign was not without its challenges. In 1925, he was shot multiple times in an assassination attempt. He survived, but the experience changed him. He retired and handed over control of the outfit to his protege, Al Capone. Torrio lived out his days in relative obscurity, a stark contrast to his high-profile life of crime. He died of a heart attack in 1957, leaving behind a legacy that would shape the face of organized crime in America for decades to come. To summarize, Johnny Torrio was a man of humble beginnings who rose to become one of the most powerful mob bosses in American history. He was a strategic thinker, a ruthless leader, and a survivor. His impact on organized crime can still be felt today, from the streets of Chicago to the halls of power. He was, in every sense of the word, a true mob legend.